right? All right, happy Thursday, North Merrick. Miss Jackie here with another one of our live uh, story times. Tonight we are reading Wild About Books by Judith Sierra. Books written by Mark Brown. Oh, looks like my daughter really likes this book too. So we'll let her go downstairs. Sorry. With Daddy. her after. Ooh. So we'll get started in just a minute. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Charlotte does not like that I'm sharing my book. Wild about books. She is wild about books too. So if you're watching, leave us a comment. Um, and just so you guys know, all these stories will be uploaded to our YouTube page. And that's where you can find Miss Janet's Tuesday story times. Uh, starting next month, you'll find these story times uh, only on YouTube. I don't think they'll be on Facebook uh, starting next month. All right, guys, so we are going to get started. In the summer of 2002, when the Springfield librarian Molly McGrew, by mistake, drove her bookmobile to the zoo, Molly opened the door and she let down the stair, turned the on her computer, and sat in the chair. At first, all the animals watched from a distance. But Molly could conquer the strongest resistance. She brought those books to the zoo. What's going to happen? By, reaching, by reading aloud from the good Dr. Seuss, she quickly attracted a mink and a moose, a wombat and orcs, orcs? a lemur, a lynx, eight elephant calves, and a family of skinks. Who here loves Dr. Seuss? All these animals do. In a flash, every beast in the zoo was stampeding to learn about something new called reading. Forsaking their niches, their nests, and their nooks, they went wild, simply wild, about wonderful books, choosing thin books and fat books and cat in the hat books and new books and true books and heaps of how-to books. Animals, wow. Giraffes wanted tall books and crickets craved small books while geckos could only read stick to the wall books. The pandas demanded more books in Chinese. Molly filled their requests, always eager to please. She even found waterproof books for the otter who never went swimming without Harry Potter. Raccoons read alone, and baboons read in bunches, and llamas read dramas while eating their lunches. But all these animals, they are wild about books. Hyenas shared jokes with the red-bellied snakes, and they howled and they hissed till their funny bones ached. A tree kangaroo who adored Nancy Drew began solving mysteries right there in the zoo, such as why is the bandicoot's books overdue? Gently, Molly taught lessons in treating books right, for the boa constrictor squeezed his book too tight. Baby bunnies mucked up goodnight moon with their paws, and giant termites devoured the Wizard of Oz. Right? We don't treat our books uh, carelessly. We always treat our books with respect, especially library books. And Bear's love of books was completely outrageous. They licked all the, pa uh, the pictures right off the pages. What do you think bears like to read? Let's see. They're reading The Teddy Bear's Picnic, Going on a Bear Hunt, and Big Bad Bruce, who looks like he's a bear. Bears like to read about bears. Tasmanian devils found books so exciting, they had soon given up, given up fighting for writing. They made up adventures so thrilling and new that the others decided to be authors too. Pythons wrote with their tails, penguins wrote with their bills, and porcupines wrote with their very own quills. At the insect zoo, bugs were scribbling haiku. The scorpion gave each a stinging review. 
there are our, uh, our insects writing their haiku poems. At the cheetah, as the cheetah's new novel began to take shape, he read chapters each night to the ape. And although the gazelle couldn't spell very well, like everyone else, she had stories to tell. Imagine Hippo's enormous surprise when her memoir was giving the Zulitur prize. With so many new books, Molly knew what to do. She hired 12 beavers, a stork, and a new to build a branch library right there at the zoo. Then the animals cried, we can do it ourselves. We can check the books out. We can put them on the shelves. And they did, and, and they do up to this very day. Three cheers for the zoobrary. Hip, hip, hooray. Wow, that looks so much fun. I love working at our library, but I think I would really love working um, at a zoobrary. I love the zoo. When you visit the zoo now, surely you won't mind if the animals seem just a bit hard to find. They are snug in their niches, their nests, and their nooks, going wild, simply wild, about wonderful books. See all those animals reading their books? All right. And that's the end. And this book was dedicated uh, to Dr. Seuss by the writer and the illustrator. So that is Wild About Books. So if you are wild about books, you can make sure that you sign up for our summer reading club. Um, we have the link posted on our Facebook page and on our website. We are totally online this year. It's like you'll log your minutes spent reading. So add in... 10 minutes for this book um, and at the end of the summer when you finish a program you'll be entered to win some raffles that we'll be having um, all online um, and yeah so a great thing to do this summer keep up that reading all right everybody so remember we're posted on our youtube channel and we will see you all very soon bye